Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about make related and new product section dynamic on product details page. So let's see how can we do this. You can see here this is the shop page. Now let's open the details page. So just uh, click on any product. I am just going to click on this product. And here is the product details page. And inside this uh, product details page, you can see here this is the uh, related product section, and here is the new product section. Okay, now let's make it dynamic. Uh, for that, uh, uh, switch to the project and uh, let's open the details component class file. So just go inside the app directory and then HTTP live wire, and from here, let's open this one details component.php file. And inside this file, inside this render method, after this, just add here dollar r product, okay, products for related products equal to model product, column column where add here the category ID, category underscore ID dollar product arrow category id okay just to display the products from same category okay so i'm just going to add here dollar product arrow category id then arrow And for displaying the product in random order, just to use here the function in random order and uh, uh, let's fetch here the four records. So just add here the limit and pass here the number four. Okay. And then arrow call the get method. All right. And now for the uh, this new product section, just add here dollar in products is equal to product colon colon uh, latest okay and. Uh, just to take four records so just add here four and call the get method okay okay uh, it should be small all right now save this file now go to the details component view file so go to the resources directory then views live wire and from here let's open this one details component blade.php file and inside this file let's search here related product related okay you can see here the related product section and uh, here is the first product okay so before this first product let's add here the for each at the rate for each dollar r products as r dollar r product okay and now after this div just close here at the rate end for each all right Now let's display here the product title, product name. Okay, so just select this, add your double curly bracket, dollar r product arrow name, and for the price, just uh, select this dollar product r product arrow regular price, regular underscore price and uh, just comment this
Alright, and for the product details link, just select and press Ctrl plus T. Select this one also. And here, just add the route double curly bracket route and route name, which is the product dot details. Okay, and also pass here the slug. So, right here, slug arrow dollar r product arrow slug all right and now for the product image just to select this add here double curly bracket uh, first of all add here the single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket and now double curly bracket and dollar r product arrow id okay and now just remove this and inside the image alt tag just uh, put here the category name uh, product name okay so right here dollar r product arrow name all right now uh, from the related section just remove this remaining these remaining products okay so collapse this div and select and just delete okay now save this file now in the new section new product section here is the new product section okay and uh, this is the first product second and this is the third product okay so just remove these two products and before this first product just add here at the rate for each dollar in products as dollar in product okay and now after this just close here end for each and display here the product name so right here in product arrow name and now just copy this and inside the image tag alt tag just paste here and for the price change here the name regular price okay and for the image uh, remove this and uh, single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket and now just remove this and add here dollar in product arrow id okay now it's done uh, one more thing i just add here the link okay so i'm just going to copy uh, this one okay and uh, inside the new product section here just paste here okay and change here in product all right now save this file now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay undefined variable are products uh, let's check so go to the class file and uh, our products okay just uh, copy this our products and inside this view file just pass here our products arrow dollar our products and also pass in products to the view so just copy this and uh, paste here arrow dollar end products okay now save this and go to the browser and refresh the page all right and you can see here the related product and here is the new products image not showing uh, let's check this okay here is the space so go to the details component 
view file and inside the new product section just uh, remove this one space okay now save this and refresh the page it's still not showing uh, image soft thumbnail okay just copy this one product dash uh, inside this image just uh, select this and just add here product dash and also add here dash one okay dash one now save this and refresh the page It's not showing the images. Product. What was the URL? Assets. Let's copy this. Okay. So just select this one and copy. And inside this. just select and paste here okay and change uh, remove r and just add here end end product okay now save this and one more time just refresh the page now you can see here the images okay Alright, now go to the swap page and one more thing, uh, let's display here the uh, number of records and also display here the paging, okay, like 1, 2, 3, 4. So for that, uh, go to the swap page, swap component view file, uh, let's open this one and uh, after this step, uh, before this main, just add here this style tag and uh, write some CSS nav SVG and uh, set here the size height 20 pixel okay and uh, nav dot hidden display block display block okay now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh this swap page and now you can see here the pagination uh, one two okay if i click on number two you can see here the second page okay and this is the first page and here it's showing the number of records okay so in this way you can make related and new product section dynamic on product details page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching